Hi everyone, my name is C Chronicles. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my content is mostly fragrance reviews, fashion videos, and lifestyle. That is my content. So if you're here for the first time, I do hope you will consider subscribing before you leave. Uh, and to my returning subscribers, I'd like to say thank you for coming back. I appreciate you as always. As you can see today in front of me, I have my entire fragrance oil collection. I'm going to walk you through the fragrance oils that I own, and I'm going to give you 10 alternative uses to fragrance oils. So in case you don't like fragrance oils um, I'm gonna tell you why you may need them okay so I've got 10 uh, points that I've listed here for you which you know uh, you can uh, you know actually use your perfume oils for or if you buy a perfume oil that you don't quite like now to ensure that this video is not too long I'm gonna go straight to the first one I'm not going to give you the notes or anything I'm just gonna show you the oils the names and possibly the companies and tell you which ones I feel are you know make better oils okay this is Nuit Tresor these two okay this is from a company called the Rubian Opulence they do a very good um, uh, inspired by version of Le Nuit Tresor and these are the 15 ml so you can see you know there's a lot in here in terms of oils okay pardon the sound if the sound is annoying you I'm really sorry I cannot avoid that this is Flower Bomb by um, Arabian Opulence again uh, this is Le Vie Belle okay this one is Creed Aventus this one is a uh, bright crystal and that is Versace. This one is Hugo Boss. Uh, this company, they're not so good. It's called the best perfume oil company, but no, I wouldn't recommend that. I just happen to have them in my collection. This one is Choco Musk. I do love that one. Okay, so the first alternative. Okay, or well, the first reason why you may need perfume oils, obviously, is to test a fragrance of your choice, okay? This is Lolita Lampica. So say you wanted to test Lolita Lampica or, uh, you know, you they, there's a latest Tom Ford and you're not really quite willing to uh, pull the trigger on the perfume, at, uh, uh, you know, at that point, you could buy uh, fragrance oils. They are a good alternative, okay? So that is the obvious reason. Or some perfumes, you know, get discontinued. Some are very expensive. So perfume oils come in handy. Now, reason number one, which is the alternatives that I, told you about besides just using them on your body okay I'm gonna you say that would be my number one okay you can use fragrance oils on your body uh, your palms your pulse points that kind of thing to enhance your scent uh, the second alternative use to them is to mix them with your daily lotion okay so if you've got your daily lotion and you just want to amp it up or it's a lotion that is unscented you could use fragrance oils to do that okay uh, so I've just given you two reasons there now I'm getting to the oils again pomegranate noir that's one okay uh, this one is a uh, black hockeyum um this one is Lavia Bell. I uh, don't mind this spelling. They normally misspell their you know oils deliberately, I think for legality reasons or legal reasons, because you know they don't want to be sued or anything. This is Prada Candy. So if if it says uh black opia, you just know what they mean. This is Baccarat Rouge 540. This is what I was talking about. It says Rouge 54. Okay. Um this is Narciso Rodriguez, and that's the black one. So that is Narciso Rodriguez for her. Uh, Le Petit Robe Noir, that is um, Guerlain, yeah, Guerlain, okay. And this is another Baccarat Rouge 540. This is why I said they, they missed it, they spelled them uh, deliberately. This one's Tonka Bean with Mira and Lavender. I think that's a Jo Malone, if I'm not mistaken. This is uh, Alien Absolute Essence. This one's been con discontinued. So this is the other thing I was talking about, that with fragrance oils, you know, they are a lifesaver for fragrances that have been discontinued. This is Penhaligans and this is Ruth Ruthless Dorothea. Uh, they are the reason why these, uh, the perfume people, I bought, you know, a... Uh, the coveted duchess uh, it was after smelling their oil i would just fell in love with the co coveted duchess and i went for the full bottle of the pen halligans okay so this is freesia rose english pear that must be joe malone okay this one is a uh, tom ford this is mandarino deal marthy it's like a bubble gum if you like that bubble gum you got one there mon paris by ysl okay so now reason or alternative use number three would be if you you know you can put your oils on a cotton swab you know put a few oils on a cotton swab this one's finished that is the duchess coverted and then you know 
throw or you can stash those cotton um little cotton balls around your home to scent your home all right so that is another alternative and number four is um you can make your own perfume out of some of these perfume oils depending on the strength okay it's not every perfume oil that will make a good perfume some of them have got a weak strength when you dilute them with alcohol so you need to find out which ones you can actually purchase to then make uh, you know fragrance oils and what formula to use okay i'll do another video uh, about that this is amani c uh, this is Mongolian. I think I have three, if not four, Mongolians. Okay, this is another one. So, yeah, just as I finished saying that, I found the other one. This is Scandal by Jean Paul Gaultier. Um, this is Mongolian again. You are going to get tired of this. Sorry for that. This is Versace Noir. Okay, and that is with the oud. This one is another uh, Mongolian. Okay. Uh, this one is bonbon. I was going to say this before I even, you know, read the note there because it is my current obsession. Okay. These ones that come in these little bottles, I get them from Dubai. Okay. So this is Mancera's Roses Vini. Beautiful. I love Roses Vini. Okay. Uh, this one is Amani C again. This company actually makes really, really concentrated oils. So these little, these bottles may look small, but they'll take me forever to finish. This is Tropical Montel. Okay, that is a Mancera as well. This is a uh, Woody Oud. I just wrote Ragba there because it does smell a lot like Ragba. This one is Shake 33. If you know, you know. That's a beautiful one. Uh, Musk Al Roman. Okay, from Dubai again. This is another Musk Musk Tahara Pears. Uh, this, that's from Dubai as well. Okay, so let me just quickly give you number um, four. Okay, and number four was you can make your own perfume. Number five is you can add them into your diffuser, you know, to enhance the smell you know, uh, of your home, you can add drops into your diffuser. Number six would be, you can add them again into like your electric mop for those who use those kind of mops. You know, you can add a bit of some uh, fragrance oil and you have your entire house scented. Okay, this is golden dust. If you remember, I said disregard these little black tops here. These are actually fragrance samples. I just put them in there uh, uh, together with the fragrance oils. This is a money C. Oops, 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 oops. We, we don't want that. This is Queen Amara. Let me swap my hand here because I think, yeah, that one was overstretched. Uh, this is the Cesar Rodriguez. It's for her again. Um, this one is Creed Vanilla. Okay. Uh, this one is Musk. Musk what? Musk Tahara. Okay. This one is Monsera's Vanille. Um, this one is kefir. I love kefir. You will see some kefir here because I love kefir. Uh, there'll be another one or two more bottles. This is sweet patchouli. This one is Arabian mix. That's a really strong one. And this is Effin Fabulous by Tom Ford. Really strong. Which company makes this? It's Arabian Opulence. So they use so many labels. Okay. This one is Tropical Montel. Rouge, Baccarat Rouge. I'm not quite impressed with this one. And unfortunately, I got two bottles of that. Langling Sukushi, really nice one. Langling Sukushi. Uh, Tropical Mancera, okay. And then this one is Miss Dio Cherie, okay. So I had spoken about you putting, you know, your uh, fragrance oils in your um, electric mop. Okay, so number seven suggestion for your fragrance oils would be to add them to your wax melts. If you have wax melts, okay, and they are unscented, you could put a few drops of uh, fragrance oils, or you can also scent your stationery. Okay, obviously by doing this, you need to be careful by, I'd, I'd, I'd suggest scenting, say the brown envelopes or something like that, or you take, you know, your fragrance oils, um, you dab a little bit on a cloth, you know, as that cloth or you know almost dries, you mix it or you put it in your cupboard where the stationery is. It kind of scents all your stationery, your letters, so they really smell great. Okay. Next one is uh, black saffron. So this is black saffron uh, by um, by Redo, and this is Riri. Okay. This one is Killian Angel Angel Shea. Okay. These are the ones I said uh, from Dubai. Uh, this. 
is Very Good Girl, Very Good Girl by Carolina Herrera, okay? And this one is Golden Oud. Um, this one is Queen Amara, really bushy, herbal kind of fragrance. This is Safari. I got this one as a freebie, okay? Uh, the seller threw this as a freebie, uh, my Dubai contact. So thank you very much. Uh, this is Velvet Oud. I love this one. I put a five star. You know, for my oils, because I've got so many, I always put stars there. Like this Baccarat Rouge, I put three stars, okay, if you can see that, because I don't quite dig that one. Okay, the next one is Mancera Vanilla. That's a nice one. And this is Kafia. That's in a 12 ml. Uh, this is Velvet Oud, okay. So you see, guys, when I say I always smell great, I do. Um, this is another Velvet Oud, because I just love fragrance. Flower Bomb, okay. Um, musky Rose, Musky Rose, that's a very strong Musky Rose, Kafia, okay, so um, going back to the 10 suggestions, now I was on scenting your stationery, okay, so I'm left with number 9 and number 10, so the um, number 9 is you can put drops in your in the carpets of your car, you know, to scent your car. I find that that works a lot better than the, uh, you know, car fresheners that kind of dry up with the sun and, you know, gone in 60 seconds. If you use your perfume oils, if you drop a few drops of your perfume oils on your carpet, you'll have a permanently scented car. So that's another tip, okay? Now, moving on to my fragrance oils. This is Hayati. Hayati, if you know, you know. Okay, this is our Muscal Roman. Okay, and uh, this is Dal Bumnati. Okay, that's a girly one. Shake 33. I love that. Um, this is Killian Angel's Share. Again, I've got two of those. And this is Woody Oud. That's the one that smells like Rakba. And then this one is Musk Al Shuyuk. Okay, uh, I've done videos of these ones, so you probably know these ones. This one is Lil Sibaya. Okay. And this one, no, this one is Lil Sibaya. This one is Violet something. Violet something. I always forget the name for this one. And um, this one's Washwasha, okay. And this one is um, Amali by Swiss Arabia, okay. And then this one is Jamali, Jamali. And these are uh, 15 mLs, okay. So number 10 suggestion for what you could do as alternatives with your fragrance oils is you could uh, drop a few, you could put a few drops inside the brownish thing that holds your tissue. I don't know whether you call it a tissue holder, you know, that brown, like khaki, uh, stiff kind of paper. You can put a, a few drops there, it sense your bathroom uh, more than anything. Okay, so those were the 10 suggestions. Now I'm going back to the last oils that I have to show you. This is Bond number nine, and then this is the New York original. And this is Baccarat Rouge 540. As I said, this is my obsession. Okay. This is Twilly the Hermes. Okay. I've got a little mini. I didn't see the need to buy a bigger bottle after getting the oil because the oil is a potent. It's that strong. Mongolane. Okay. This is my 35 ml. My pride and joy. I love that. Um, this is Leng Leng Sukushi. Okay. And then this is Al Rehab. I love that as well. This is Lancome's Roses at Midnight. Okay. And this is from Pen Heligans. You know, so yeah, that is it for my fragrance oils, guys. I gave you my fragrance oil collection for those who were curious. I also gave you 10 uses, 10 alternative uses or 10 uses to, uh, or 10 things that you can do with your fragrance oils. If you buy one that you don't quite like or whatever it is, there's always a use for them. If you want to do perfume, I will do a video of how you can turn your fragrance oils into perfume. I will give you the formula, obviously, you know, how much you need of the uh, perfume famous alcohol as well as the oil so that's what i had for you today c chronicles is my name i hope you have subscribed if you haven't why not please do join the family click the red subscribe button like this video if you like it comment and share turn on post notifications that way you will be notified anytime i upload a video and remember smelling good is a form of good manners cheers